take their place on one of these seats. I'm Aaron, I'm from London, and I'm a master's student. I'm Kate, I'm from Lancashire, and I'm a procurement manager. I'm Ruth, I'm from Carmarthenshire, and I'm a full-time man. I'm Tony, I'm from Warrington, and I'm happily retired. I'm Jenny, I'm from London, and I'm a youth worker. I'm Chris, I'm from Nottingham, and I'm a fraud investigator. Each of them will compete for the chance to win £10,000. But who will survive and who will be ejected? Welcome to the ejector seat, a general knowledge quiz that requires brains, quick wits, and preferably an empty stomach. Because if you can't answer the questions, you'll be tipped out of your seat and out of the game. Let's meet today's players. A lot of smiles, which is great. Ruth, you're smiling. Happy to be here. I am, yes. Feeling comfortable in the seat? Very comfortable, actually, yes. Uh, and for you, Jenny, feeling comfortable? Yeah, very nervous, but yeah, I'm okay. Don't be nervous. Nothing to worry about. Any one of you could win £10,000, and here's how it's going to work. To begin with, it's our qualification round. Buzz in with a correct answer, and you'll be in the game. However, only five of you can qualify. The last person to answer a question correctly will be ejected. Everybody ready? Nice big smiles. Let's play eject to see. Come on, buddy. Okay, fingers on buzzers, everybody. Here comes your first question to qualify. The English title of the first novel in Steve Larson's Millennium Trilogy is The Girl with the What Tattoo? Chris. Dragon. Is the correct answer. You'll win the game. Chris is in. Who's going to be next? Fingers on buzzers. What ancient Maori war dance is traditionally performed? Kate. The Haka. By the New Zealand All Blacks before rugby matches. Haka is correct. Kate, you're in the game. Okay. You're right there, Kate. I'm an officer. No, don't put. Not now, otherwise it's mouth to mouth for me and you, baby. You got any answers yet? Oh, <laughs> yes, please. Here's the next question to qualify. Which mobile phone brand gave its name to the Millennium Dome? <coughs> Tony. Oh, Tony. Reopened in 2007. Oh, is correct. Tony, you're in the game. Tony, I mean, no offence, but to be honest. You say, oh, okay, here's the next question to qualify. According to the Irish folk song, Molly Malone cried cockles and mussels on the streets of which city? Aaron? Dublin. Is the correct answer? Aaron, you're in the game. So, Ruth and Jenny... Only one of you can get through to play today's game. One of you will be ejected. Jenny, what's gone wrong so far? <laughs> I just haven't had a chance. I've not been quick enough. These guys are too quick for me. Ruth, have you known the answers? I've known two of them, but yeah, not quick enough. Okay, here comes the next question to qualify. According to the title of the show, which stylist taught participants how to look good naked? Ruth. Gokwan. Is the correct answer. Ruth, you're in the game. Jenny, what can I say? You weren't quick enough on no, the buzzer. No, and I knew the answer as well, but I wasn't quick enough. Never mind. Never mind. Jenny, you have been ejected. Congratulations, the five of you are still in the game, and here's how it's going to work. 
Get a question right and you'll stay where you are. Get a question wrong and you'll be on the move. Keep getting questions wrong and you'll hit the edge and be ejected. When you get close to the edge, you'll enter the danger zone. But that's when your panic button can come to your rescue. Press it and you'll face an all or nothing question to survive. Now you can only press your panic button once, so use it wisely. Aaron, you're going to face a question first. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You're a student. Yes. Uh, what are you studying? Maritime archaeology. So whereabouts do you study? Uh, Oxford University. Oh, he's a brainy one, everyone. Um, and what do you do in your spare time? I'm a medieval and Viking reenactor. What's one of those? <laughs> I dress up and play history pretty much, and we, it's fantastic. I get to do sword fighting, I get to make the authentic kit from the past. Absolutely wonderful. Well, Aaron, I wish you the very best of luck. Aaron, here's your question. In which 2013 film, based on true events, did Tom Hanks portray a sailor taken hostage by pirates? I don't know. The correct answer was Captain Phillips. Because you gave me an incorrect answer, you're on the move. Which ocean was the Titanic sailing across when it struck an iceberg in Atlantic. Atlantic. In 1912, the Atlantic is the correct answer. Okay, Aaron, well done. You can sit tight. Kate, welcome to the show. Hi. You're a procurement manager. Now, what's one of those? Uh, we buy everything. Okay, who do you work for? I work for Manchester City Football Club. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Retired, I suppose time in an armchair is kind of what you do, or isn't it? 